Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Anna and today we're making spinach lasagna rolls. This is a perfect recipe if you're craving lasagna but you don't want to make a whole lasagna that usually takes about two to three hours because you have to let the sauce cook for about an hour and a half, two hours and then you have to put everything together and it does take a little while. My classic lasagna recipe is coming in a few weeks so stay tuned for that but today I'm going to show you how to make my um, spinach lasagna rolls. It's much simpler, it's equally as delicious, you can make it during the week because it takes about 30 minutes and it's so so yummy so let me show you what I have going on because as you can see there's already things cooking so I have a skillet I added about two tablespoons of olive oil and I added my onions we want to caramelize them well not really caramelize them but we want them to get a little color soften a little bit to that I'm going to add my chopped mushroom actually it's more like minced mushrooms so you want to get your mushrooms you want to clean them very very well you want to give them a good mince and we're going to add it to our skillet my onions are already cooked to perfection so that is why i'm adding them right now and like i said this comes together so so quickly and it's so good you can omit the mushroom but mushrooms are actually very good for you and you really can taste it in the recipe. It just adds a little something to it, but you really can taste it in case you don't really like mushrooms that much. So we're gonna let that cook for about, I would say two, two minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to mince some garlic because I'm going to add it right away. So I'm going to add my minced garlic right into the skillet. Obviously, we wouldn't want to add all of these raw ingredients into a lasagna because even though it's going to bake in the oven, you want them to cook down just a tad bit. I also have my oven preheating to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. You also want to get your baking dish of choice ready to go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let me show you what else I have. So I've cooked my lasagna noodles, as you can see. I cook them for about eight minutes because you want them to be pliable, but you don't want them to overcook. Because if they overcook, then they're too hard to work with. And I just added them into my colander when I rinse them and these are ready to go. Here, I also have my classic tomato gravy or tomato sauce, like a classic um, simple pasta sauce, which here's what I'm going to show you. I'm gonna tell you how to do it so you can have that ready. You can use, so you use store-bought, but I personally like to make my own. It's much simpler and more delicious. So I added about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to my saucepan, my oven's preheated. Um, then I added about three, two, three cloves of garlic to it. I let it sizzle for about a minute. Added my crushed tomatoes, also a few leaves of basil, a sprinkle of salt, and that's pretty much it. As simple as that, it really can get any easier. It is so, so yummy. This is what you want your mixture to look like. As you can see, the onions and the mushroom and the garlic is nicely cooked. So let me show you what you're gonna do. You're gonna add your whole milk ricotta to a medium bowl or large bowl, whatever you have. You are going to add your spinach. As you can see, there's a very small amount of spinach here. And you're gonna be thinking there is not enough spinach for a spinach lasagna rolls. And there's about three cups of spinach in here, believe it or not. So I'm using frozen spinach is the best way to go, especially if you're on a budget because it's much cheaper and it's easier. You just thaw it out and it's ready to go. If you have fresh spinach, you want to add it with a pot. You want to add it to a pot with water and want to cook it for about five minutes. Once the spinach is cooked, you want to render, you want to squeeze it and render as much water out of it and you're going to end with something um, that looks like this. There's, trust me, there's about three cups of spinach in here. It turns into very little. That's why frozen is the way to go. So you want to add your spinach to your ricotta. You want to make sure that you squeeze as much water out of it, even if you buy frozen because it's still going to have plenty of water. You don't want that in your final result because it's going to make your mixture very watery. So you're going to add your spinach. You're also going to add in your egg, some dried oregano. You can actually um, add the oregano while you're cooking the onion and mushroom mixture. I forgot and it's still gonna be delicious. You can add it either to the mixture or to the mushroom while it's cooking. It's gonna wake up the flavors a little more. Now you're going to add in your beautiful 
freshly grated if possible, please, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano, and some Pecorino Romano. I'm going to now just quickly chop some fresh parsley and basil. This looks great, so we're going to add this into the whole ricotta mixture. Add in your somewhat cold mushroom and onion, onion mixture. And now we just simply just combine the whole thing. So you're gonna end up with something that looks like this. Now it's time to season it with a bit of salt and pepper. Just add to taste and mix once more. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. We are going to add some of our beautiful pasta sauce to the bottom of our baking dish. I do want to remove the garlic because I don't want anyone to bite down on big pieces of garlic. So we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna add about half of the pasta sauce. Whatever's left on the saucepan, we're gonna leave it for the top. So now we are ready to assemble our roll. So you wanna get your lasagna noodle. You're gonna add a good amount of the mixture all over the noodle. It's gonna be about a big teaspoon like this, so about two tablespoons. And now you're going to simply, going to start rolling, just like that. Okie dokie. You're gonna have something that, look like, that looks like this. And now we are going to place it right inside our baking dish. And you're going to repeat this process just until you run out of lasagna noodles. Okie dokie, so this is my very last one. We're gonna nestle that in. So you're gonna end up with something that looks like this. Now, we're going to add the remaining of our sauce all over the top. And now it's time to add in our freshly shredded mozzarella and we're gonna add that all over the top. Now, this bad boy is gonna go into our preheated oven. Remember, it's preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna bake for about, I would say 30 minutes, no longer than that. So you can see very easy peasy and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. My lasagna baked for 30 minutes and then I turn on the broiler on high for five minutes because as you can see, I like mine not burnt, but I like the cheese very melty and very bubbly and golden brown. And to me, this is perfection, but obviously cook it however you want. You can see the cheese is really nice and melty and delicious. Create it kind of like a crust on top. And this is so, so good. Look, look at that. Look how beautiful it looks. I want to show you how beautiful this is in all the different layers that you kind of create by rolling it. Now it's of course my favorite part, the part that I get to try it. Mm. Too good. Too, too good. The filling is beautiful. Trust me, even if you don't like mushrooms, add them to the recipe because you're getting all the nutrients and you can barely tell that they're there. There's a perfect meal for when you're craving a delicious and hearty lasagna, but you don't have the time or the patience maybe to make a whole lasagna. I'm telling you, it is perfection. Remember my written recipe, it's on my website, anitasilaisrecipes.com. There's a direct link to it in the description box. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the recipe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.